I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You what? I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You don't want to continue? No. Can you explain me why? Because I need to understand. I mean, I, I think your bedside manner is a little off. I didn't want to do something wrong. Today, you must tattoo a peacock. Oh. With so many colors and textures to capture, precision is essential, or your peacock will go from bold to blur. Peacocks are so challenging. There's thousands of feathers, a million little lines, multiple layers of texture. You can easily screw up. I'm gonna start looking up some reference really quick, okay. and we're gonna get an idea of what you like um, color-wise, style-wise, okay. design-wise. Colors that I want, I want to kind of be like, like a phoenix colors, like oranges and like burnt, you know, burnt oranges and reds and purples and stuff like that. I am a black and gray artist. Precision in color is not one of my strong points. We don't want it to look too close to a phoenix. But I do want the colors, the oranges and the reds and You the want like burnt colors? Yes, yes. Got it. I'm definitely gonna run out of time, so I have to shorten it a little bit. There's no time to finish the tail. So I wipe off 50% of my stencil, freehand some on, and start over. Plan B, I'd rather simplify something last minute than try to rush and half-ass. Dave gave the only two rib-to-knee tattoos to the only two girls on the team. I don't know if it's because we're strong players or if it's just because we're girls. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a peacock. Ryan. You being one of the top dogs on your team to doing this, big decline. It was just a horrible case of very poor time management. This week, we're testing composition. Composition is a bunch of elements that's put together to form one cool piece. Today, you must give your canvases a permanent reminder of whatever it is that they do to live their best life. Each canvas has a different way of making these moments better, and it's up to you to translate that to the skin. It's a little hard to translate someone's feelings into a picture, but if you're a really good illustrator, you can illustrate anything. You must use composition to perfectly place each element in your tattoo. Today, you must collaborate with your teammate. You decide who tattoos and when. You're only as good as your weakest link. This is your chance to put the driver in the driver's seat who's gonna make this thing get you a win. Okay, guys, you have four hours, and your time begins now. Where's this going? Left forearm. 15 minutes, what are you gonna do? You don't have time to get on the face, and the face and the skin looks great. Don't tell me that. Push. Yeah, well, then you can tell me every whatever you want. This looks unfinished. I told you we should do something more simple. It's already bad enough that there's a lot of pressure here. And if I can't incorporate what I'm trying to add to it, then You're going to kill the contrast. OK. Well, then I guess we're done, right? Don't you want to put color here and on the, on the jewelry? You might as well just finish it, because what I say and what you see are two different things. No, I see what you say, but then we need like an hour more. We'll just knock it out. Not like losing, I'm not a loser. Okay, artists, time to get into these critiques. House of Monkey. Well, guys, I like the design, but I think that compositionally you could have had an interesting ending. It just looks unfinished. You have six hours to tattoo. If you fail, for you, this battle is over. And your time starts now. But this thing started. We're testing composition by giving these artists color realistic battle scenes. Now this is kind of what we're thinking. It's beautiful. Cool, yay, awesome. There's many different elements that are occurring at once. There's movement, you have flesh, you have cloth, there's a foreground, and you have a background. And that all takes composition to execute. So when you do the cuffs, these cuffs are leather. Not the skin, but it's the same brown tone right now. OK. Our goal to make this tattoo stand out is to plan a good foreground, a battle scene in the middle, and then a nice background to accent it. My only nervous thought is, did we go too big? Guys, we're going to stop for a minute. Get my head in. Breathe nice and slow. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'll try some of this. The sugar in your system is going to help. Here. You passed out. Pass out. Hey. With us? Tim. Tim. This color's coming back with the ring. 
Tim, you right? Oh. There you go, buddy. It's all right, man. It's all right. Just need some sugar or something. Get the chair up. Get the up. Are you kidding me? I do not want to go home in an unfinished tattoo. It's a little rest, man. You'll be all right. Today, you had to create battle scenes with clear composition. Classic trilogy tattoo. What's missing from this? There's a rock face that rides the ridge line, and the clouds in the sky are going to be like a washed out blue. A lot of time spent in that green. It looks like a battle scene that has the same color green in the hatchet blades that it does in the background, with a little darker shade than that in the loincloth, and a muddier shade than that in the pants. Yeah, that came into my mind shortly after putting the grass in. You guys went nuts in this thing. Drastically underfinished tattoo, and the 20 minutes that he has passed out is not the reason. Today, you must prove your mastery of technical application by tattooing the sternum. Oh my god. This painful and sensitive area of the body makes it an extremely difficult place to tattoo. Your application must be perfect. The skin on the sternum is super thin, and it's really easy to create blowouts or cause trauma. And for the canvas, it sucks pain-wise. The sternum is the gateway to your heart. This low line that you have right here is what we would consider the sternum. We want to see the center of the concentration of the tattoo there. Good luck. Hi, Jason. Josh, pleasure. <laughs> it's fine. It's all of us. Fly. Today, the artists are tattooing sternums. Technical application comes into play, applying the stencil of the design to the skin for a proper fit, and then, of course, application itself. Well, obviously, I want it to be elegant and nice, but yeah. I also don't want to have to tattoo you for longer than we have to. Yeah. Testing these artists, we decided to give them the same portion of the body to tattoo, so that way we could see who the technicians are and aren't. It's still a little choppier in that row. You gotta, you gotta smooth it out. Well, I'm trying to make her look wrinkly. OK, but you still can have smooth shading. I got the triple moon goddess, and I'm not happy about it. Triple moon goddess is three lady faces, a young one, a middle-aged one, and an elderly one. Just tell me it looks like right now. Come on, keep working, bro. You ain't got time. I'm freaking out. I hate rushing tattoos. I was just at the bottom. I don't want to go to the bottom again, but this tattoo might send me there. Today, you had to perfectly apply a sternum tattoo. Jeremy. Your technical application is nice for the area. You show some nice areas of line work. You show some nice areas of shading. That being said, look at the lips on either girl on the profile. They're not finished. Look at the shading of the nose and the cheeks. They're not finished. The center is so cherried out, it looks like you ran out of time for your profiles. I did it on purpose to make the middle stand out more. Doesn't look complete 360. You will have six hours to show solid fundamentals tattooing a clock. Fail to impress the judges, and your time in this competition will be up. Good luck. Get him, guys. I was kind of thinking, like the leaves, like everything, like the ornaments yeah. in the back. I like that. I'm already going to this winning. I'm doing black and gray and not color. My goal now is to make sure this is the best tattoo I can do, so that way this backfires on Team Clean. You got it. Man, I think I need to go show coach their you're team you're more you're than good. us. Yeah, no, we're good. Go teach them something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're all right. This is a living nightmare. Every time I try to pull a line, this girl's stomach is moving. She's shaking in pain. And the line work is rough. I'm hoping to get the brownie points for doing it on the sternum. Gonzo's not even done outlining yet. No. I swear to God. If Gonzo don't finish, that's a that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Gonzo is Gonzo. I'm proud of you. Dude, yours is beat. I couldn't believe it. I don't know what you mean by beat. Like beat that bull shot you guys like, took. Like those lines were beat. How'd it go, dog? It went out the door. It went woo. Nervous? I'm not nervous at all. I've seen plenty. I'd be nervous. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. Gonzo. This tattoo is drastically unfinished. Multiple areas just do not have completed lines. You look at the top, the winder, the ring. Those lines don't even line up. They're not even centered. Every time I tried to pull a line on her, she was gasping. Everywhere you look on this tattoo, it is jacked. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Clean. 
Why did your team vote Gonzo to the bottom? We felt that the tattoo was unfinished and it had the least amount of technical ability and fundamentals. I don't think you can look at the shading on that and not see that there is a skill set that it takes to do that. But the basic number one fundamental we're looking for today is outline. And it's hard to find any good outline in this thing. I'm not one for like the boohoo for me or like pity case or making excuses for but this is not what I do. I am not the tattooer to go home out of this three. I'm not putting my family and myself through this for nothing. All three of these are ridiculously challenged on every level. Oddly enough, the shading that he's got going there is my favorite part of the three, and it's a horrible tattoo. I'm not trying to defend it. As flawed as all of them are, JP's at least has an immediate appealing look. Even though Austin's composition is bad, to a layman, it looks like what it is. Just, I can't get past Gonzo's tattoo. The judges have decided, Gonzo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Bummed out. You know I love you, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants in some of the most difficult places. Oh, no. From heads and necks to armpits and butts, it will take creativity to design a tattoo that fits the body part perfectly. I don't want to touch a butt. You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. All right, let's go, guys. Let's right. get it. Today, our artists are going to be challenged on placement. What do you think, just dead smack right here? Oh, yeah. Inexperience makes different locations on the body harder to tattoo than others. I don't even think the knee's that bad. I got everything tattooed. You don't have your dick got tattooed, though. I feet tattooed. Huh? I got my balls tattooed. <laughs> First line, it's like, oh my god, what am I doing? If you are not used to tattooing an armpit or not used to tattooing a butt cheek, and you don't know how to stretch the skin, how to place your canvas, you will have a hard time in these tattoos. Just keep pushing through. Oh, yeah, man. Get this man. Yeah, I got it right. Oh, I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurting a little bit. And the drawing sucks. And there's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the out of stop. here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and Dude. talk a bunch of and now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going home. It, and it's going to happen. I know it. Tony, we should just pack it up, man. Christian's right. <laughs> <laughs> My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours. But he's squirming like a little bitch. God damn, damn this. All right, that's, oh, All right. You're going to finish it, man. No. The ah. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother, and I love him, and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Team Christian, you're up first. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You've got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff, the hood, the wing, and the background. Something's got to be lighter or darker. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. The coaches are here to help you succeed. They've proven themselves as masters. And now, you must step up your game and tattoo in their specialty, black and gray. Got this. I'm pretty excited because that's my specialty. A black and gray tattoo is different shades of blacks that turn into grays and show a smooth transition to create a three-dimensional effect on the tattoo. Don't let it get in your head. You specialize in white and gray? Jack of all trades. Don't make a mud puddle. If I have to sit there and look at it three times to figure out where the hand is because the hand's the same color as the background, that's a fail. Just do things that are clear, that are obvious. Give yourselves a fighting chance against the best in the room if you're not. You'll have six hours to show a mastery of shading, 
by creating a black and gray tattoo. Fail to impress the judges and your future in this competition will be over. You're gonna come with that stem and leave it negative? Yeah, I was thinking about it, still debating about it. My canvas wanted the lady face clock in a row, so I decided to put it all into one image. You might find at some point you're gonna have to prioritize a little differently. I'm super behind right now, and I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to finish. You got any kids? No. I have a two-year-old daughter. What's her name? Madison. Oh, cute. I didn't leave my daughter to do an unfinished tattoo. I can't f this up. We're finally done. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm concerned about Fallen, his design. I thought technically how he applied it was really pretty, yeah. but he didn't finish it. Today, you had to demonstrate flawless shading by creating a black and gray tattoo. Men's team, you had the advantage. You're up first. Fawn. You definitely show that you have the most skill so far with your shader. This is what the shading should look like. Your rich black transitions in the eye and just below the eyebrow, it looks beautiful. The unfinished leaves are a bummer. If you start it, you got to finish it. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The best shading at all is font. It's way better shaded than almost everybody. I would say 40% of the tattoo's not even done. 40% is an exaggeration. No, it's not, because you would probably shade behind the leaves, too, so you have to imagine that whole side. We're looking for smooth shading, and the best shading in the room is in the face of Fonz. Congratulations, Fawn. The judges have decided you, in spite of having an unfinished tattoo, have best tattoo of the day. Thank you. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh, so no excuses. I am freaking the f out. What do I even do? Because I don't have a style. I'm still super early in my career. So now I feel like I'm Do the best work you can. Make it that a great tattoo goes home because somebody creatively outthought the other. Show that you're a craftsman. I have no idea what I'm going to do. All right. Good luck. I'm planning to do for you the realistic roles. OK. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Being able to tattoo anything you want in this competition is a huge gift. Cool, man. If you're able to do anything you want, you shouldn't have to defend it. This is what I do, animals and food, so it's like perfect. <laughs> I love blind critiques because a lot of times the artists think that we're out for them. I love that because it goes right with your tricep. Yeah. We will critique each one unbiasedly. We call it like we see it, just talking about art. You ready? Yep. My canvas, she's in a huge pain, and she's always moving. Ooh. It's really hard for me to tattoo her. Ooh. You gotta give me two seconds, please. I'm doing it very gently. Trust me. It's not, I don't know what you want me to do. It hurts. And no. you're not really being, like, encouraging or trying to distract me. It hurts. I know that it hurts. And you knew that it's going to be hurt. Yes, every time you wipe it, you're sc scratching me with the paper towel. Let's run to the bathroom. I'm scared that my canvas cannot handle this pain. I'm really worrying that I cannot finish this that time. time. I'm just going to get wrapped up and go. You what? I'm just going to get wrapped up and go. You don't want to continue? No. Can you explain me why? Because I need to understand. I mean, I, I think your bedside manner is a little off. I feel, like, really uncomfortable, which I shouldn't. With me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I really I didn't want to do something wrong. The only I was trying to do the beautiful art for you. Yeah, and I know. And the limited I appreciate... time make me rush. Yeah, I understand. I just. If you feel uncomfortable, I understand. If I'll go home for this tattoo, it will break my heart. I cannot go home for my roses. How'd it go, Pony? Did you finish? No. What? I was like 70 process down. What happened? She was a really big pain. When I feel that I have not enough time, I start rushing. And after all this pain, she thought that I'm not gentle to her. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. 
Hope you are ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the last tattoo. The center of this thing looks beautiful and rich. We can only assume this is not finished. I'm looking at the exterior. Why damage the skin with some scratchy little green line so that you can just come back and damage the skin more? There's a good chance that this client said, man, you're killing me. I can't sit here any longer because you've been scribbling on me for five hours and I can't take one more hour. I don't know what to say. It's unfinished tattoo. If it will be finished, I think they would say something totally different. Today you're being judged on your artistry with a blind critique. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Last tattoo, let's take a look. Okay, pony. The problem was my canvas cannot handle the pain. If you weren't tattooing over areas that you already pre-tattooed in and might not have hurt her so long, and might have been able to finish the tattoo. Those lines, it's just past lines which help me to keep the picture on the skin. That's how I do the photorealism. Pony, you have a lot of talent. If you have to do a tattoo that big, but you outline it, shade it, and color it, and finish it, do it. Let's reveal the lowest ranked tattoo. Pony. I'm not surprised. If it was finished, it'd be a different story. This week, we are testing technical application. Back to the basics. Yeah. It's just another day for us. We can do this. If you don't have good technical application, then you'll be doing sloppy tattoos. Plain and simple. If you can't make a clean line, if you can't do full saturation, your shit's going to look bad. You know, blow out spot. No more scratchy white. Today, you must prove your strength by facing off against another artist in a head-to-head -head style battle, regardless of region. Damn. I don't want to face off against you guys. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases are open and have been randomly assigned. But there is one more thing that you should know. There's Shit. always one more thing. Your tattoos must speak for themselves, because today, all of your tattoos will be judged Blind. It's gonna be a fun one. True battle. That's big. Fail to win your head-to-head -head face off, and you will be up for elimination. Good luck. Good luck. Head to your shops. And good luck. Let's do this, bro. Here's what's beautiful today. We're doing a face-off, meaning two artists are gonna battle in the same style, so it's gonna give an even comparison. Right. This is a double elimination, so for us, it's gonna be a tough day, but for them, it's gonna be tougher. What are you doing? No, I'm not <laughs> telling you, dude. It's gonna be a surprise. Hope you're not surprised, Bob, to take you out on your own style, man. Drill looked me dead in the eyes when he picks Biomech. I can't back down from a call out that blatant, but honestly, I don't do Biomech in a six hour time frame. It takes time. And his ego is gonna <laughs> just, <laughs> just gonna go right out the window. It's a lot of pressure on me right now because if somebody calls me out on something that I do every day, I have to excel at that shit. He has to be simplistic as because it takes Bob 20 something hours to do bio. I can tattoo faster than Bob. I don't need to go as basic and I'm not going to. I decided to challenge Bob. You got this. It does. And how much more is left? So I literally just got to do this bar right here, and then I got to shade. That's it. How long do you think that'd be? Because my body's numb. Are you kidding me right now? Like, really? My knees are still numb. It sucks, but I need you to push yourself as far as you can. I'm not I've been here too long. I'm but there's too like much stuff to go you. home. We have to finish it. I don't know, dude. I don't want to do it to you, but my knees are still numb. Is it from you just laying there? No. What is it from? That's why I don't know, because, like, I can't hear out of this ear. That's why. You're saying you can't do any more? I don't think I should. Okay. Really? All this work, all this work is for nothing. There's five people going down. That's half of the room, and I have an unfinished tattoo. You might as well have just bought me a plane ticket home. She just quit. Oh. She's she's done. What? Wait, your knees hurt? You don't know about that? She tapped on me. Are you serious? Yeah. Dead serious. So now I have a unfinished tattoo. Let's Whoa. see where the that goes. That's two hours, people. Two hours to go. You won.
Why? Because she walked out. Shut the up. I'm being serious. Are you kidding me? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, man, I might not finish, so. You know, I might be in the same boat. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, me too. All right, today the artists are facing off in a head-to-head -head style battle, and we're judging these things blind. I know I'm in trouble, but that's obvious. Let's see how they did. Let's have a look at the biomech face-off. That's mine. This tattoo has a very unfinished feel. Nothing is put in solid. Even in the more finished center, all those outlines are scratchy and weak. It's a mess. Damn. I just started trying to scramble just to get some shit in there. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head style battle. Each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. Win your style battle, and you'll be safe from elimination. Lose, and you could be packing your machines. Yeah. Half of you will be up for elimination, and two of you will be going home. That's tough. Jarrell and Bob, you faced off tattooing Biomech. Let's see who won this style battle. How's mine? Bob, congratulations. Thank you. Jarrell, what happened here with this tattoo? She let me tattoo her for about three hours or so, and then she just quit. That is one of the breaks in this competition, man. You took a bad one here. If Jarrell would have been able to completely finish his tattoo, it might have been a different outcome. I mean, I don't feel like I earned it by any means. All right, Bob, congratulations. Please have a seat. Sorry. 